In this video, we're going to look at what happens if I am given organized information in order to accomplish some task. And I've done exactly that. In info.txt, I have a number. And what that number represents is how many lines of code follow it. And there are four lines of code that follow it. And what I want to do is I want to find the average of each of these lines. So what I'm going to do first in my program is take in that four value and I'm going to write a loop that runs that many times. So I'm going to say int numtimes equals file dot next int. So out of my file I am pulling that first value and that is going to tell me how many times my loop is going to run. Remember anytime you take in a number and if you're going to take in a string following that you're going to run into a problem with the scanner class. If you want more information on this please do see my video on numbers before strings. But the short of it is I'm going to have to consume the end of line character that's left behind. And I do that by simply saying file dot next line. I'm going to use a for loop here because I know how much information is inside of the loop. So I say for int i equals zero, i is less than num times i plus plus. I need to ask myself on each line as I iterate through, what do I have to do in order to find the average? So I'm going to need a sum of the line each time. And I'm also going to need to know how many numbers are in each line, so I'm going to call that count. So I'm going to write a second for loop, and what that's going to do is it's going to loop through each value inside of the line. And I'm going to use a for loop here because I know how many pieces of data are in each line. There's four pieces, so I'll say for int i equals zero, i is less than four, i plus plus. So as I said before, I want to sum the values. So I'm going to say sum plus equals the next value in the line, which would be file.nextInt. And I also want to add to count. So I say count plus plus. And then finally, I'm going to print out the average. So I'm going to say system. And I'm going to do the math here to print out the average. And I want this to be a double value because they're both integers. So I typecast it as a double. Now when we run the program, we should be able to see the average for each of the four lines. And you can see that I have an error here. I can't call this i and this i because it would ruin the scope. So I'm going to call this j, j, and j. And so you can see here when I run the program, I get the average, and on this one I gave us an average that we should know, just like this one we should easily be able to figure out, and we know that all of these are correct. So this video showed you how to take in information using a file where data is ordered in a certain way.